Welcome to a new week. As we read works of modernism over the next two weeks, think about how this literary movement developed. How was it a response to a world at war? By the way, I was lucky enough to see La Guernica in Madrid, and I can tell you that it is huge. The scene is almost overwhelming in person. Another thing to consider, how does modernism fit with realism, the major movement that came before it? Does it further realism's interests and goals, or does it refute them? Here is a key quote from our textbook's introduction to keep in mind. Modernism linked the political crises with a crisis of representation, a sense that the old ways of portraying the human experience were no longer adequate. The modernists therefore broke away from such conventions as standard plots, verse forms, narrative techniques, and the boundaries of genre. How does Kafka, an early modernist, seem to bridge realism and modernism? Do you see elements of both in the metamorphosis? In a globally connected 20th century, notice how modernism is interpreted and reinterpreted in different regions. We will be reading modernist texts from Eastern Europe, Asia, and Latin America. You will see similar concerns and perhaps even similar views, but the way they are expressed is flavored by the social and cultural experiences of each author. This will be a fascinating few weeks.